Mark the cervical margins with a thin line using a pencil, preferably in the colour red or green. Apply a thin layer of clear spacer all the way down to the cervical margin. Make sure the spacer has the correct consistency. Next, you apply a thin layer of a coloured spacer, approximately 1mm from the cervical margin. Make sure to isolate your dyes. Then you can start your wax modelling. Apply wax over your dye all the way down to the cervical margin. Your finished coping should be in between 3 to 5 millimetres, with a minimum thickness of 3 millimetres. Visualise a full anatomic crown and then reduce 20% so you have enough space for your porcelain. An ideal thickness of the metal framework and the porcelain is approximately 1.5 millimetres. If the patient has a subgingival preparation, you can design your framework with a lingual collar or band without sacrificing aesthetics. The collar should be between 1 to 1.5 millimetres, all depending on the gingiva level of the preparation. The angle of the collar should reflect the profile of the lingual or palatial aspect of the tooth. Visualise the prominence of the finished restoration when you construct your collar. To invest your restoration, you need to select and place the correct sprues. Use a 3 to 5 mm thick sprue and connect it to the coping on the largest cusp. The reservoir should be placed in the thermic centre of the investment ring.